demands in the public sphere. And that socialization starts at such early ages um, that's also linked with what's happened in our, not just our society, but I think many countries around the world, which is that um, as we've normalized men in leadership, we've also taught our young boys at early and early ages to devalue the feminine in themselves, to, to repress their emotions, to man up, to deny parts of themselves, right? So anything associated with the feminine, um, emotion, empathy, sensitivity, care, caregiving, collaboration, those his feminine characteristics have been sort of denied and repressed. So our young boys at an early age, without even knowing it, are being socialized to deny the feminine, which ultimately means denying or not seeing women as their equals. And as a result, we've obviously given all men the right to vote before we've given that to women. Um, and women have always come after men, regardless of men's um, uh, you know, walk of life. Now, <laughs> The, the, the excitement about this moment in time, this moment in history, is that we're going to shatter that. I'm happy for boys and men because when any barrier falls in America, it clears the way for everyone. And in doing so, we're going to make it so that not only young girls around our country and around the globe see that the this great democracy is finally um, realizing its potential to value all of humanity but young boys are going to grow up in a society that will ultimately um, enable them to see women as these powerful authority figures and in doing so I, I, I firmly believe that it will kind of um, uh, deconstruct this limiting narrative about what it is to be a man and help men and young boys to stay true to themselves at early and early ages and be whole.